I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love it. Look at that. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice lighter, you know, Softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I'm so excited to be here with you today to create Elf on a Shelf. I have my little elf here today. There's Ernie. Ernie the elf, and he has his pencil already. So I hope you guys have pencils and paper and maybe an eraser and something to color with. So whatever you have is fantastic. You can also you know, watch and see how I do it. And uh, guess what, you guys? I have a special class today. I really want to welcome Mrs. Bittner's fourth graders from Edison Elementary. All right, you guys, I'm going to bring on Miss Bittner's class. Miss Bittner's fourth graders from Edison Elementary. Yay! All right, you guys, I'm going to bring on Miss Bittner's class. So you guys, that was awesome. So exciting. And I can bring you on again later in a little bit. I just want to um, let you know when you come on, if you can lower your volume down, that way you won't hear the echo. So we record these live, but for safety reasons, there's a slight de delay, like maybe five seconds. So when you guys are watching it, even though we're live, you're the sound is coming out about five seconds late. So when you come back on later, maybe you can lower the volume so that we don't hear that slight delay. All right, warm up your hands and let's get ready to create. Now you guys know I am going to use a Sharpie, a black marker, just so you can see it better on the camera. But I'm going to, I want you guys to use a pencil in case you have to erase. Now the format, I want you guys to use your paper so that it's, um, vertical or in portrait style so you have more room for him to be tall right whether he's sitting or standing or however you want and you can make a background you don't have to make a background it's up to you guys but i want you to think of the center of the page that's where i'm gonna put my elf so i'm gonna start let's start with his hat so i'm gonna do the brim this is the brim right here okay so you ready i'm gonna do a little line like this it's kind of wavy I'm going to curve around and then come back like that. So that's his little brim. Did you see Santa in the back? Santa and Rudolph are watching. All right. And then I'm going to make it go up, 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 over, and then back down. Kind of like a triangle or a cone. And then I'm going to, this is his hair. There's his hair. And then here's his face. I'm going to come down and back up like that. I'm going to give him like a half a circle for an ear on that side and that side. And you guys don't worry if you can't keep up with me. Or maybe you're doing a coloring page, which is fine too. I always love when you guys try to draw. So I have my coloring pages here as well. And, and I want you guys to know I did this several times until I liked it. So do it again and do it again and do it again. I'm going to do it, give him a smile. And I'm going to give him an eye like this, a line like that, and a line like that. I'm going to curve around, curve around. His eyes kind of look like a football shape, like an almond. I'm going to make him looking at me. Oop, kind of. Okay, and I'm going to give him his collar.
Oh, I forgot his nose. It looks like a U. U. Now I'm going to go down here for his arm. Let's give his other arm here. Down here. All right, I'm going to put his hands here. A little line there. And then I'm going to do his leg right here. Let's do his other leg before I get his feet in there. I'm going to make this foot go behind the other one like that. So it's like overlapping. All right, right now he's like floating in the air, right? So we want to make him sit on something. So let's see. I'm going to put a little line right there. And then I'll find a shelf, right? So he could be on a shelf. He could be on a bookshelf. I have mine on a bookshelf. He could be on the fireplace, the mantle. He could be in the tree. You guys do not have to make it like mine, right? I'm going to give this desk legs here or the bookshelf or whatever it is. I'm gonna do a little present right here. And again, you guys can do, it doesn't have to be a present, it could be a tree, it could be, Whatever ornament, look, I'm going to put some ornaments back here. So again, they're overlapping. So it looks like it's going back farther. And you could do a pattern, stripes, stars, polka dots. I'm going to put another ornament on this side. And then... Here's the books. I have the books in the background. Now, you know what might be cute too is maybe you put the titles of the books of your favorite books. Snoopy, Elf on a Shelf. Uh, whatever your favorite books are, you can put the titles of the books on there, right? And if you want, you can have the floor. So it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. Give it a floor. You can even do, I don't know, do you have a tile floor? I know in my classroom, we always had like those tiles. They, they were like checkers. So you could just do some vertical lines if you want. And then cross it over with some horizontal lines and make a checker floor. Or you could do a carpet, whatever you have in your room, right? Like your favorite rug. Mm, what else? Wood. You can make it look like wood. I'm trying to think. It could be outdoors. You could do an outdoor elf on a shelf. Let's see. I could put like Rainbow Fish on there. That's one of my favorite books. Rainbow Fish. Love Rainbow Fish. That's my sloppy copy. And you guys keep going. I want to. Okay. So here's look at. I did it with his mouth open. This is when I was practicing. Okay. I, I don't like him so much with his mouth open. I like it better with just the smile. But you can try. Here's one that I did without the background, right? So you can change the background. You could do it again and again and again. What else? I wanted to show you my other ones that I practiced because you guys, they all, you know, I have to practice a lot before I just go on here. So here's one with just a present. You see that? Just a present. I'm going to show you one that I colored that I didn't like as much. Again, I made his nose different and look at how I colored that one. And I, I outlined it with a thicker black and I, and I thought his nose looked funny and 
I like them better with just a smile without the teeth showing. But that's up to you. That's why I practice and I say, oh, which one do I like better? So look, at I have a whole stack of them. So don't think you're going to get it perfect the first time. Okay, you just got to do it again and do it again and I'll do it again too. But I want to show you something first before we go on. Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, here. Elf on a shelf. How does Santa know if you're good or bad? Does he call or text your mom or dad? Is he watching you both day and night? Does he follow close to not let you out of sight? No, Santa has helped to keep an eye on you. He assigns an elf to stick to you like glue. Every morning when you wake, try to spy from what hiding place I'll be keeping an eye. I'll watch to see if you follow and obey the rules and things your parents and teachers say. I'll gather the info and make my reports. Then each night to the North Pole via the airport, I'll tell Santa the things that you've done. I won't forget any, not a single one. Some things make him happy. Some things make him cry. Then I'm back to your house before the sun hits the sky. So there you have it. That's how it's done. It's the elves that help the North Pole run. Before we get started, there are two rules to know. First, if you touch me, I will lose my magic and must go. Second, I need a name and it must come from you. So get started thinking on your favorite one or two. Remember to be good and spread holiday cheer. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So my little guy's name is Ernie. I like Ernie. But again, if you have an elf on the shelf, well, now you're going to have one. You're going to make one, right? So you can name your elf on the shelf. You can name your paper one. You guys can also cut them out, right? You can cut them out. You can move around your classroom or your house. So again, you guys got to think outside the box. I'm going to do one more. If you want to do it with me, or you can start coloring yours. If you're going to, I'm going to do one more. This is going to be my good one. So here's what I would say. Your elf can have different color hair. Your elf can have different colored skin. You can use colored pencils, crayons, magic markers, whatever supplies that you have. And so I just, I, I tend to do, I find something that's around my skin color um, and my hair color. But again, I, I don't have blue eyes. I have dark eyes. But you use what you want. Make his eyes any color, make his skin any color, make his hair any color. You change it however you want. That's called customizing. All right, I'm going to put another paper right here and I'm going to quickly sketch it out again and then I'm going to color it in. All right. So again, you guys want to practice with me? Go ahead. So again, I have my paper so that it's portrait or vertical, long way. So I have more room to create up and down like this. All right, I'm going to start more in the middle with this brim of his hat. And remember, it kind of goes up like a triangle, but it's got a curved corner. And I'm going to add his hair. Put his neck in there. Little nose like a U, big smile. If you want to make it different, go ahead. And then you have like that football almond shaped eyes. We'll make him looking over at the other elf. Give him his collar. Um, um, leg, leg, there's a little foot going behind the leg, give his little hands, oh, oh. Did you see that? See, that's why you shouldn't, is my head in the way? That's why you shouldn't use a shirt because I just did a line right there that was, I dropped it on there, but that's okay. Shh, don't tell anyone, it's our secret. I make mistakes, you guys. We all do. All right, let's have him sitting on something so he doesn't look like he's floating in the air.
And again, whatever you want to add. If you want to do ornaments. I have a bow right here, so it's going in front of it. And you can just make a simple box. It doesn't even have to be dimensional. It could just be like a... Simple little box, right? I'll put another ornament on this side. And again, if you want to do the books, do the books. You want to do a tree, do a tree. So here I want to show you guys. I want to have you guys guess. As you're working and coloring and practicing, I want you guys to guess which one's me. So these are my sisters and myself. Can you tell which one I am? I'm going to give you guys a hint. I'm the one who's always messy. So no matter how hard I try, I am messy and, and I do my best. But so if you had to pick out the messiest of those three kids, which one would it be? Yeah, I'm the one that's really messy. So my little sister, Darcy, is the baby on Santa's lap. And I'm not sure what's going on with Santa. He kind of looks mean or something. And then my older sister, Deanne's in the background. So, but that's me. My mom tried to always dress me nice and comb my hair. And within two minutes, I was dirty and my hair was all over the place. So I just don't know. But yeah, that's from a long time ago, you guys. I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing our Christmas picture. <laughs> And you know what? When you guys are doing this artwork, again, I told you, you can cut it out. You can color it however you want. You know what else you could do with it? You can make them into cards. So I, well, Susan and her sister, Sandra, are members and they have been for a long time. And they always hand make cards and they mail them to people. They're very inspirational. And I just got one and it says, remember in this great big world, you make a big difference. And it's a handmade card. And I don't know if you guys have seen the Rudolph video yet. This is one of our videos in our video vault. But look at how little it is. It's a little baby card that she made. I love it so much. And it's a little baby Rudolph. And she put a little string on it with a little hole so you, I can hang it anywhere. And um, so that's one of our videos. But she did it real little. It looks like she used color pencil. And then she wrote a little note to me on the back. And it's made for Denise and it has the sister's names on it. And I just got it in the mail. So again, you don't always have to work so large. If you have just a little five minutes of time, you guys can make little artworks on little pieces of paper. And again, you could put a string on it and make it into a little ornament. So I just got this and I had to share it with you guys because I was so touched by it. But she gives them, she sends them to people all over the place. She gives them to the mailman. And All right, which one should I color? Should I color this guy since he's got more going on? I guess so. Oops. See, I use both sides of the paper. Do you guys see that? Or should I color this one? Which one do you want me to color? I think this guy looks cuter. I'll color this one. So I'm just going to use markers. All right. So I'm going to do his hat. I'm going to make, oh, I covered up my little elf in the background. Did you guys see Ernie has a pencil? My little Ernie back there has a pencil. I can't touch him. I got close though. All right. So. I'm going to do his hat red. And we have Irina and Emma and Bella here today too. And I want to wish Bella a happy 11th birthday. Bella is also one of our members who creates with us all the time. She's extremely creative. All right, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do his outfit red and I'm gonna leave the collar white. I'm going to do his legs red too.
Oh, while well, I have the red hair, I might as well do the bow. So I'll do the bow red, but your bow could be a different color. And I'll make the bow come down the box here and here. And then I'll do, hmm, here's the real photo. That's how little it is. Can you, I, I get the reflection, but that's the little photo. So I, at Christmas time, I get all the old photos out and put them out. Let's see. How's this brown? Let's see what this brown looks like for hair. Maybe I'll make this one's, I'll make this one's eyes brown too. It almost looks black, doesn't it? But it's actually brown. But sometimes when I color on the camera, it looks darker than it is. And maybe, again, your ornaments have a pattern. Maybe you use two different colors. I just want to have contrast so that it looks different than my books and, my, you know, my outfit stands out. So it has, like, a different, right? Let's see what this looks like. It's green. Now, you guys can always use yellow for skin color tan beige brown orange whatever colors that you have you can use for skin you can even shade it in with a regular pencil if you don't have any colors I want my greens to be a little bit different. Let's see a good skin color from, again, I usually try to match mine, but if I want it to be cartoony, like silly, I could make it yellow or orange or, you know, not realistic. So that's why I say cartoony, because cartoony would be more unreal, not realistic. But we know that Elf on a Shelf is real, so we, I'm going to make mine realistic. Don't forget his hands. So his hands and his face should match. Whatever color you're using, you want to make them match. Let's see what color I want to do the desk. So just think of the contrast. What color background do you want to have? So if you're going to do a different, if you're going to do a different color background, you just want to make it stand out, right? So you want to use something like I wouldn't want to use red as my background because my elf is red and it would blend together.
So other things you could do, maybe you have stockings hanging in the background, right? Maybe you put stockings over there. I know you guys are going to come up with a bunch of different things. I'm excited to see. Let's see. Let's do another pattern on this side with two different blues. So again, if I'm going to do my background yellow, then I wouldn't want to make my books yellow, right? So you guys would want to use different colors for your books than you do for your background. So maybe your books are purples and oranges and, oh, well, I know one of my favorite books is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's, or was it called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate? I can't remember the name of it, but that book, I love that book. Um, I love it so much. So I can't remember if it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or Willy Wonka. I think it's Willy Wonka. But again, you can put little titles on there. All right, now I'm going to color my books and then I'm going to do my background. Ooh, maybe I haven't used pink. I'm going to just do a little different. I know how much boys love pink. Just kidding, boys. But I'm going to do some of my books pink just because I want to make it look different than my other one. So now you can see, this is what I'm talking about with contrast. Do you see how my red bow against the pink book, it doesn't show up as well because pink and red are very close in color. So that's not great contrast, but what I can do to fix it is re-outline it. Now the pink on this side would be better against the green because that has contrast. See how much better it will show up against the green versus against the red. And if that happens again, just re-outline it. And if I were you guys, I would not outline it till the end, if you want to outline it at all. Uh, again, I only do mine in black just so you could see it better. All right, let's change some colors. Let's try some more. I don't know if you have silver crayons or gold crayons, but that would be pretty too. If you have silver and gold crayons to do maybe the books or some decorations. What am I? Oh, the little presents. I'll do the little present cream. You 
You could always leave it white. You could do a pattern on it. So a checker, I'm trying to think of the checkered floors in my classroom. I think I have black and white. I could do red and green. I know you guys don't have a red and green floor, but it might be cute to make a pattern like that. Let's see. Let's see how that would look. So white and green looks cute too. So I could leave it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the background yellow and then I'll decide if I want to do the other squares red or if I want to leave it white. But let me do my background. Oop, that looks brown. I don't want brown. I want yellow. Let's try this one. We're going to pretend that's not there, okay? This is a little bit more yellow. So this one's a little bit different yellow than the other one. It's kind of close to the color of the wood. See, that does not have contrast. All right, let's see if I can find a brighter one. I'll blend it together. How's yours coming, you guys? Are they coming along? Are you guys done? So you know what? I have a lot of visitors here. I have the Nutcracker here. So last year, you guys, we did the Nutcracker. 
So he's just here visiting, but again, in the video vault, if you haven't seen it, we have the Nutcracker or Toy Soldier. He's about to fall over. Guess who else is here? You guys know who that is? <laughs> so that's also in the video vault. We have the Grinch. So check them out. Lots of fun stuff to do. And you, I think in those I might have been painting, but again, you guys can always use any supplies that you have. You don't have to paint. You don't have to use the same supplies that I do. So I just want to make sure that I get, for the background, I get around that area, right? Now, maybe you put the title on there. Maybe I put Ernie the Elf on the Shelf, right? Since mine's Ernie. Did you give your guy a name or girl? Are the elves on the shelf always a boy or they have girl ones too? Oh, candy canes would be cute. You could put some candy canes in there. Or peppermints, little circle peppermint candy. So do you guys think my floor should be white and green or should I make it red and green? Really, it could be whatever you want. So we have Mrs. Bittner's fourth graders from uh, in Willoughby and wave at me if you guys want to share some of your artworks. I can see you guys just wave like this if you want to show some. Yes, do you, you guys want to share with some of your artworks with me? Okay, now I see you. All right, hang on. I'm going to pull you up. Hi, guys. Hold up your artwork. Can you hold up your artwork? Show me your elf on the shelf. I want to see your pictures. Silly, hold up your picture. Hold up your picture. Yeah! I love them. Ohio! Browns. Browns Cleveland. I love that. See, I knew you guys could think outside the box. I knew, oh, Look at you put the name. Is it say Becky? I love that. Those are so creative. I love how everyone's is different. Good pattern. I love all the colors. I love the tree. Oh my gosh, good tree. So you guys are extremely creative. So when I say think outside the box, that's coming up with other things I didn't even think about. <gasps> Black and white checkered floor. Love it. You guys are great. Oh, that's hand done. That is totally hand done. I love that. You guys are doing amazing. I love the fireplace with the stockings. And, oh my gosh, I love your your hat. Her her real hat that she has on her head with the with the candy. That's cute. Oh my gosh, good checkered floor. The peppermint hat in the background. Oh my gosh, who did all those checkers? Who did that one with like a million checkered floor? There was a that that took a while. I know it. Someone, yeah, you guys, those are awesome. I'm I love all those hats you have on. With a little bell. Does that make noise? I bet you that drives your teacher crazy with the jingle bell on your hat. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. You guys are amazing. Thank you for coming on today. I love it. You guys are awesome. That was fun. I love that's my favorite part, you guys. So if you, I, you guys have been doing this almost two years. And when I first started, I would go so fast because you know what? I would rush to the end so I could see everybody's artwork. And now, you know, after so long, everyone was like, you have to slow down. So now I try to slow down. But still, my favorite part is seeing you guys 
And real quick, I loved all your checkered floors. And I love the Cleveland Browns. That was great. I love the Christmas tree and the fireplace. And you guys really did a good job. So again, you saw how many I made, right? This is my stack right here. I'll get them again. Like I have so many of these. So you guys, if you did another one, it would come out even better. And again, this is going to be recorded. You can watch it again and again. You can try them with his mouth open. You could try. And there's nothing wrong with being inspired by somebody else. Maybe the next time I do it, I am inspired by you. And I add the Cleveland Browns or Ohio or a fireplace, right? So I call that inspiration. So it's not like, you know, taking a test and looking at someone's paper and being like, and copying their paper. If you see something that someone does, it's ins inspiration and it's be inspired by someone else's ideas. And really it's the best form of flattery. Like it's a compliment if someone copies what you did really, because that means that they liked it. So I might copy some of your ideas. All right, you guys. So now look at, here's the green and white, and then I'm going to do the red and white and we'll see which one you like better. Oh, I forgot to share. Okay. I know Bella's here, so maybe Bella wants to come on. I got to give Bella the link. Give me one sec to give it to Bella. Okay, there's the link. All right, let's go. Let's keep this pattern going. I, I really loved your patterns. And I love, you know, whether you had three rows of squares or six rows. I mean, some of you guys really did a lot of checkers. You could even make your own checkerboard. Oops, I'm hiding my elf on the shelf again. There's Ernie. Or maybe you do, um, you know, maybe you write Merry Christmas. I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll try to write something. And then I could put um, from, now don't copy mine because maybe yours is name a different, something else. From Ernie. And I could put the elf, the elf. Now, when you're all done with that, if you want to go back and re-outline it, and I'm just going to give you a little secret. You guys see where I went outside the lines or where I have my mistakes like right there? So at the end, and even when I paint this, I do it too. Like I'll, I'll re-outline it with black and cover up all my mistakes. So like right here, I would just re-outline that and hide my mistake. And no one knows. I went out of the line. Guess what? Emma and Bella are here, you guys. Well, hi, girls. Hi. Hello. How's it going? 
Um, it's good. doing pretty good. Happy so for birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, for now, we're going to show you the ones from last year. So this is my Grinch. He looks like a cat. I love your Grinch from last year. And this is Emma's Grinch. Hold on. Wait, let me get my Grinch. So the kid, so we have some fourth graders joining us who who I don't think did the Grinch last year, but it's in the video vault. So if they want to do it, and you, hold them up one more time. You guys used paint when you did the video. We used because acrylic paint. Used okay. So they they use paint on um, oh, paper. One, sorry. Yeah, those look great. I'm so glad you guys still have them. Are you decorating the house with them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then oh, these are from last year. Oh, and look at that. And see, do you guys see how different theirs are? So there's lights in the background there, and then this red and white stripes there. See how they changed it up? And there's oh, the I forgot about that. That that's the gingerbread hat, right? Is that the gingerbread? And then I made this one. I remember. Oh, hold on. Wait, I got Teddy here. Hold on. So you guys, there's also the gingerbread house. Like this is all the Christmas stuff. Wait, hold on. Let me get Teddy. Teddy's <laughs> big. Here's Teddy from last year, you guys. Remember? This is oh, hello, Teddy. <laughs> so you guys and the kids that are just joining us from Ms. Bittner's class. So what inspires me are things that I love. So we've talked about this. You guys know we draw our stuffed animals or our favorite toys. So like when you're bored, you could just look around your room and be like, oh, I think I'm going to draw Teddy today. And last year, I got my cute teddy bear. Um, he has a lantern too. See his little lantern? And he's kind of big and heavy. But we did that last year. Hold up, Teddy, again. Sh show us your painting again. Okay, where is it? Oh, here's. So cute. Love it. And do you see the snowflakes in the background and the little angel on the tree? So that's how we customize it and change it. And they do it however they want to, right? And I made his hat red here, and your Teddy has like a um, white hat. So that's super cute. Yeah, so you, you changed it up. It's awesome. Do you happen to have your digital Santa from last week? Yes. Here, let me just. So last yeah. week, Bella decided yeah. instead of doing it on paper, she wanted to make a digital Santa. So it came out great. I cannot do digital Santa. I have it on my phone. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put Teddy down because he's having. Oh, yeah. That's it's on the phone. Look at that. She did that all on this um, on her on her <laughs> on the pad. I should have it on my phone here too. Look at a nice kids list. I'm on that list. Why can I be a big kid? I'm on the big kid list. Yes. She's and then are you doing digital today too? Yeah. Yes. And today I decided to do watercolor. Okay, the colors look a little bit like sad looking for some reason because the watercolors they, they have kind of grayish in them for some reason. So they did, they did but some I, as usual, but, but okay. I, I think they look really, I love the way the colors blurred together in the ornament. I think that looks really pretty. Look, no one knows you didn't mean to do that. You just let them, oh no, that's what I meant to do. You know, I think it looks really pretty. And here's I'm kind of behind a little bit. It's okay. Oh, look at those patterns. Oh my gosh, I bet that's hard to do. Kind of. Kind of. Anyways. <laughs> Patterns take a long time, this, you know what I mean? Especially if they're intricate. And we wanted to show, yeah. we don't have an elf on the shelf around Christmas time, but we have a little fairy that's just oh, around. She's so cute. <laughs> cute. She's a little cute. And she's saying hi to you, elf. That's awesome. Okay, and since you haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's still wow, so she's wait, I forgot that's a girl. Yeah. yeah. Luna. She's got much bigger since Halloween. I don't think we've seen her since Halloween. Yeah. She's, yeah. Bigger. she's pretty big now. Wow. wow. So are you back home? Yep. Yes, yeah. yeah. We just got Say home. Hello. <laughs> Luna go with you guys to Pennsylvania? 
Yeah, she's usually a really good traveler. She was surprisingly good for her. That's excellent. <laughs> Okay, well, I love your digital art. I love how you guys use watercolor. I love how everyone's thinking outside the box and creating their own thing. So you guys keep going, send me pictures, right? We have um, Emma dancing in the background. That's her other art form. <laughs> These girls dance, they play musical instruments, okay? They're dressed like that because they're in Florida and it's warm there. We're in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's cold and rainy. It's not too cold, it's not snowing. So you guys enjoy that sunny, warm weather, okay? We did get and to see some snow. We did get to see oh, some in Slovenia, which was really nice. But now we're ready for warm weather again. Mm -hmm. I bet you are. You want to say hi to Mrs. Bittner's fourth graders? I'll bring them on with you guys. Yes. Okay, that sounds great. Right, hold on. Hey, you guys, say hi to Emma and Bella. Hello. Hi, fourth graders. I don't know if they could hear us. They're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. There they are. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. Hello. That's where my little sister Darcy, oh, Mrs. Matioski, she's a she's a teacher over there at their school. So. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Emma, Bella, and Miss Bittner's fourth graders. Thanks to you guys so much. Was that fun? I hope you guys join us again. We're going to be doing more fun stuff. And um, I am so happy that you created with me and Ernie the Elf today and all of my other things. And you guys check out the video vault. There's over 250 art videos in there. And I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thanks for creating with me. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas, you guys. <laughs> She's like, sorry about that, Miss Bitter. <laughs> Bye, you guys.